here I'm going to be showing you how to stiffen three basic crochet shapes. I made a square, I made a pentagon, and I made a hexagon. My idea here is to make Christmas ornaments. So if you want to know how to make these shapes, go and watch my video on how to make a Christmas tree ornament square, hexagon, pentagon. There's three different videos. Each one of them shows you detailed how to make each one of these shapes. But if you don't stiffen them, you will notice that they become a little wrinkled, especially the hexagon. And they kind of curl in. It just doesn't look right. So the stiffening is an important step that you need to do to get these ornaments uh, looking right. I have three here that I already did. So see the difference? It looks just nice, right? So, and then they're just ready for you to kind of like put the string or ribbon or whatever you like to put them on your tree, okay? So for you to be able to do the stiffening, there is a couple things that you need here. First of all, you need a styrofoam board. Any size will do. You know, I have this long one here. I got this from something that I bought at the store. It's thin, you know, so they don't have to be thick. Uh, whatever you have in your shed should work, okay? Um, also, you need the fabric stiffener. I am using Stiffy by Plaid. It works well. There is other brands in the market that also work well. I just picked this one here and it works really well. There is the spray stiffening ones that I recommend you not to use, not for this project. This is good stuff, but not for this project because these shapes, they have to be really dipped into the liquid so that they actually become um, the texture that you are looking for into a Christmas ornament. So don't get the spray one for this project, okay? Now, you also need some pins, rolling pins, a whole bunch, I think, depending how many you do at once. Yeah, you need more. Um, a measuring cup, a half cup measuring cup, a towel, some water, and a small container. I like yogurt containers because, you know, they are disposable. But if you have some left over, then you don't want to throw it out and you don't want to put it back in there because it will be diluted with water. So you just close it and then you can use it for a future project. Now, the um, trick here also is that you do uh, dilute the fabric stiffener a little bit with water. If you use it plain like that, um, you will see that your ornament will become a little too brittle. I kind of like him to be slightly still soft, okay? So if you like it really brittle, then put less water in. So my measurement pretty much is half cup of fabric stiffener and then half cup of water. So here we go. So practically what fabric stiffener is, is diluted glue. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, in my opinion, just diluting it a little bit more with water just gets the texture, the right texture I'm looking for these ornaments. All right. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what I do, I dip each ornament, so let me get these out of the way, into the mix, get a spoon, and mix it up really well. So get your pins ready. And what I need the pins for is to stretch the ornament on the board. So you kind of soak them into this goo so make sure that the glue soaks deep into the, the piece. And then you give it just a little bit of a squeeze and take it out. So don't squeeze it like too much. Otherwise the glue leaves and there is not enough stiffening happening. We place it on the board, the styrofoam board, and this is where the safety pins come in. So what you're doing here, you have to stretch the ornament out, and then it will dry that way, all right? <clears throat> so usually I start with one side and then the opposite side. So you don't have to stretch it too much. All you want here is to have the ornament dry 
in a nice shape because the shape you leave it is the shape it's gonna take. So what you might want to look into is that the sides are all um, equal because it might look a little funny later if one side is curvy and one is completely straight. So you might want to just work a little bit with the sides of each shape and yes the hexagon is I'm sure the hardest one to get down perfectly correct. So you just have to play around with it and stretch it. Yeah, there we go. Until the sides of your ornament look pretty much the same on all six sides. So it takes a little, a little playing around with it. And of course, if you like the sides straight, it's up to you if you like them with a slight curve in them. That works as well. I like them slightly curvy. I think that looks really cute. There we go. And you leave it there. Then you go to the next one. Let's try the pantalon. So soak. Give it a squeeze. Now you might be asking, okay, how long does it take for this to dry? Well, that actually depends on the weather, <laughs> where you live. So since this is meant to be Christmas ornaments, um, we are probably looking into winter. If you're in North America or in Europe or anywhere up north. Hmm. Now, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, hey, summer, you might want to just put them outside in the sun. Now, I am in California and um, our weather here is still nice, so we still have sunshine, so I'm going to put them out in the sun. Now, if you are already under snow, <laughs> there's no way you're going to put that outside. So I think it will be fine for you to just dry it inside your house because your heating system is likely running and that usually makes the air quite dry. So I'm sure that your um, ornaments are gonna dry in about 24 hours, okay? So it's not something that happens like from one hour to the other, that for sure, no. You need to give them some time to, to dry. Okay, so I have a few more to work with. So you work on yours, <laughs> I work on mine. I'm going to show you here at the end how all looks on the board and then we meet one more time. So have fun. All right, there we go. I finished them up. I hope you had some fun doing it as well. As I mentioned before, it takes a little fidgeting with the corners and make them settle just right. But it's not hard. You know, as for being a mess, really, you get your hands full of glue that's it keep a towel nearby and you're good and um, it should not really stick to the bottom after they are dry they come off easily from the styrofoam so bring them now outside in the sunshine or they will go faster or leave them inside your house and give it then a good 24 hours for them to dry I'm just finishing up this project here with you. The shapes are done. They dried for two days. One day should be enough. As I mentioned before, it depends on the weather. If you're in the summer, winter, inside, outside, it give and take there a little, but um, it should be, you know, good 24 hours for you to um, have them dry um, inside your house. Now, uh, for me, it took two days. So I think they're nice and solid. And how do you know if they are done? Well, simply, they will be nice and dry and the shape will not be bending on its own um, to any particular side, but they are still bendable, so it's not too brittle. So there we go. This took about two days to dry. One day might have been enough. And if you try to dry them in less than 24 hours, you need to really make sure that they are dry, okay? And it will feel dry. Hi, Mocha. <laughs> it will feel dry and it will feel wet otherwise, right? So, and if the shapes are still too wet, they, they won't be nice and, and firm like this. All right, so there it is. 
So now the next step is to attach the string so that you can put this on your Christmas tree. What I do, I do a foundation chain and in this case here I used size 10 thread. And this one here has a nice shiny um, golden filament in, in the middle so I think it looks really neat. So I did a foundation chain of 55. Now remember this is very thin so with that in mind you need to use a very thin hook as well. Okay. Now you may use any kind of, of string really, just yarn alone without actually doing the foundation chain or use ribbon or use wire. All right, so find one of the points that is easily seen and easy open. Pull the string through. There we go. And then I align the foundation chain here just like that and I just make sure they get more or less right there at the beginning where the foundation chain starts and ends and I do three knots. And when I do the foundation chain I try to leave enough in the beginning and in the end so that I can make just a little bow here and that looks enough and cute and pretty in my opinion and it's ready to be hung on the Christmas tree. And so do that with each one of your shapes and there we go. You can decorate your tree or give this as a present. And I have in mind this year to give the teachers in school a set of each of them for, um, you know, three grades that my kids are at. And I think it's going to be a great gift to just send them my thank you and um, a Merry Christmas to them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun doing this project. As um, you can tell, it's really very straightforward. The stitches and crochet are like double crochet. That's it, and chains. Um, the whole starching might be a little messy, but it's not too bad. It's washable, so it doesn't really stain your clothes or anything. So Merry Christmas. I hope you can decorate your tree this year with these beautiful little things. Or give somebody um, the pleasure of receiving something that you made. I think that's that's the good thing about it, right? So thank you so much and I see you until my next project. Mm -hmm.